everyone, Freya Fox here, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing DeFi, decentralized finance, and how you can make over $1,000 per day just by passively staking this cryptocurrency in an opportunity you probably never heard of before. So let's dive into it and learn what DeFi is all about. Before we get started, guys, I want to remind you that DeFi is one of the riskiest things you can do in crypto and in all types of investing and even gambling. And the reason is because there are things called rug pools and it's equivalent to you guys just putting your money out there, putting it on a roulette table, and then they just take all the money away and they pull the game out, leaving you no option for you to recover any of your chips or your or your actual money. So we'll go over what that is in a little bit but first let's talk about what DeFi actually is and what it can do so let's head over to the computer and if you look over here uh we've got roulette wheels like i said but we've also got DeFi as a standard and what does DeFi stand for well DeFi stands for decentralized finance and according to forbes it's the notion that crypto entrepreneurs can recreate traditional financial instruments in a decentralized architecture outside of companies and government's control, which I think is beautiful. That's a beautiful way to think about it. And, and it's 100% true. So let's look over here at PancakeSwap, for example. And PancakeSwap, this is what you find when you look it up. Tons of cute pancakes. And you're like, what does pancakes have to do with all of this? Well, what do unicorns have to do with all this? It has to do with a lot. So on the basic level, DeFi is decentralized finance. And if you think about Bitcoin, Bitcoin and Ethereum were the first real decentralized coins. They were the first DeFi really. And right now people are acting as DeFi in the fact that we are acting as our own banks. We have a decentralized economy, if you will, of, of cryptocurrency but not all coins are DeFi because a lot of coins like Tether, for example, USDT, XRP, um, you name it, are not truly De DeFi. And what I mean by that is that they are owned by somebody. There's a corporation behind it. There's a technology behind it that's developed by a corporation that owns, quote unquote, owns the currency. So if we think about stablecoin, DeFi is obviously the complete opposite of a stablecoin. If we think of XRP, or we think about um, Lumen, uh, Stellar Lumens, for example, those aren't a true DeFi coin. And we can debate about that all we want, but that's not the point of this video. The point of it is to teach you guys how to do DeFi staking, but I wanted you to understand a little bit about what DeFi is. And while it definitely can include Bitcoin and Ethereum and other coins, we're going to be talking today specifically about Binance Smart Chain and what that entails for DeFi and these different exchanges like PancakeSwap, for example, and Value DeFi, which is what we're currently um, doing in Discord, and a whole bunch of other ones, Banana, Goose Finance Egg, Un uh, Uniswap, SushiSwap, so on and so forth. These are all names that you may have heard of you may have seen the coins like sushi uni all those things on exchanges all over the crypto sphere and not really understand what the heck is uniswap why is there a unicorn why is there a freaking pancake why is there a a, a coin called cake okay well it all has to do with binance smart chain and the whole DeFi explosion if you will and let's kind of try to digested and get into it a little bit and so the first thing you got to understand is that when you're working with the DeFi exchange it is the opposite of something like binance and coinbase right so if we think about coinbase or binance these are companies these are corporations they have a ceo they have a founder they have shareholders coinbase is going ipo for example that's not a really DeFi. that's CFI, centralized finance, kind of. The exchange is central. At any point in time, the CEO, its stakeholders, whatever, can choose to shut down the exchange. They can also get hacked very easily, like Mt. Gox. A majority of things can happen 
uh, when private data is being stored on one centralized computer or computer systems. And that's where, that's where we have a big problem with these exchanges have this vulnerability. And so the solution to it, or maybe an antithesis to it, is DeFi exchanges like PancakeSwap and also like Uniswap. If you type in Uniswap, you probably have seen Uniswap and seen this cute uh, unicorn everywhere around as a coin, but also as a exchange. And just like Binance and just like Coinbase, right? These are also exchanges. So you can go on here, you can buy crypto, you can sell it, you can swap it. And swapping it is the biggest part here. If you go on Binance US or if you go on... Um, Coinbase, you may notice that you can't just convert things. Now you can in Coinbase wallet, like the regular coinbase.com, but that's a whole different story. Um, on Binance.com, for example, for international users or non-US users, or just people who have a VPN, you can also convert a lot of coins and swap them on the fly in a spot wallet type of swap. And that's kind of where these um, swapping uh, exchanges get their uh, beginnings kind of I mean I don't want to say that for sure or that's the only big thing about them but the fact that they are powered by ethereum and now Binance smart chain and not Bitcoin and not other slower coins makes them extremely useful for changing currencies changing coins very quickly efficiently and most importantly cheaply and with the introduction of Binance smart chain we've been able to now reduce the fees kind of but it, it's tricky but majorly reduce the fees from using ethereum gas which can cost up to 50 dollars, sometimes 500 dollars per transaction depending on how much money we're talking about so that's what these are these are exchanges that their main goal is to reduce the amount of money it takes to actually make transactions and swap and also um, make things more interesting and offer different ways of making money as opposed to just holding a coin or mining a coin, which is what almost everybody knows, even outside the crypto sphere. You can mine, you can trade, you can hold long term. But DeFi offers a completely new set of options called staking and farming and stables and, and so many different things. But and today we're going to just talk about staking and what that really entails and so we're not going to go too much into what binance smart chain is it's a whole different thing um it's, it could be a whole video but binance smart chain in a nutshell is a new type of DeFi, kind of DeFi that's created by binance which uses bnb and busd which is their stable coin and bnb which is their coin to allow you to make transactions very fast and cheaply on these swap markets like pancake uniswap value DeFi, and so now that we've gone through this long history and what this kind of really is boiling down to hopefully this will make more sense now once we show you the tutorial and so what you have to do is you've got to get a new wallet now i know what you're thinking what the heck freya another wallet oh my god i have ledger nano i've got binance i've got coinbase well unfortunately because this is mostly done on Binance Smart Chain, you will actually need a special wallet for this, but have no fear, it's not too hard to set up. So let's go back into Chrome and I'll show you guys what that looks like. And there's two ways to do it. Pop. There's two ways to do it. And there's two ways to do it. And the first way is the Binance Smart Wallet or Binance Smart Chain Wallet. It's very easy to install and it's a Google Chrome extension. For brave users out there, obviously since Chrome Brace, you can also use that as well. But for the simplicity of this, I'm just going to use Google Chrome, even though I mostly use Brave. But it works on Brave, it works on Linux browsers, it works on a lot of different things. As long as it's Chromium based, you can just easily find the browser extension. So what you would type in is Binance Smart Chain Wallet. And you can find the Google Chrome extension, right? And you can add it and it'll show up in your top right hand corner. But because OBS is very uh, 
picky about what it records and Binance Smart Chain is real the wallets are very privacy based I can't even show you my wallet if I wanted to but just believe me that at the top right of my screen up there somewhere there is a a an interface a, a Binance Smart Chain uh, wallet thing that shows up and so I'm not really sure how to walk you through this, but the, the steps are pretty self-explanatory. You'll install this or MetaMask, and you'll go through the setup instructions where you'll create a passphrase similar to a hardware wallet or a cold storage wallet or a desktop-based wallet. And you'll create the passphrase, or it'll give you one, and then you'll have an individual uh, email and a, a password for that on top of the passphrase if you want to um, so that you can sync your wallet across multiple devices but as long as you have the one singular passphrase which is usually like seven or eight words like dog cat banana something you know like that i'm sure you've seen these before then you're going to be able to uh, open the wallet very fast and then you can just open that up on multiple computers on your phone wherever you want as long as you know the passphrase and you copied it down somewhere or on Binance Smart Chain Wallet, I think you can just log in with username and password too. I don't remember. Um, so those are two options. Binance Smart Chain Wallet or the more popular option is MetaMask, which is a cute fox logo. And that's why I use it. Just kidding. I mean, it's part of the reason I use it because it's a fox. But MetaMask is a little bit more robust and it's also a lot more difficult to set up. I'm not going to go into the, to the setup for this. There's a whole bunch of other videos that you can watch or on their website on how to set up Binance Smart Chain correctly with MetaMask. And so for the for this video, we're just gonna assume that you're using Binance Smart Chain or MetaMask and you've got the wallet up and you probably have the wallet up and you're like, what the heck am I doing now, right? So what you gotta do now is that, imagine that the wallet is up and it'll look kind of like this on your screen. You, I don't know if you can see this very well, but it'll be a, a box at the top right-hand corner, okay? And when you have that box up, you're going to be able to see your wallet and uh, you will click on it. If you're on MetaMask, for example, you can see there's like an account um, thing. You can just copy it. On Binance Smart Chain, there's a receive button and then you just copy and paste your wallet number, uh, which is that long string that you're used to seeing, a very long bunch of random numbers. So you're going to copy that number and put it somewhere safe or just have it in your clipboard, doesn't matter, okay? And once you have that, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to deposit some BNB into it. And I believe now with PancakeSwap or Uniswap, I don't remember, but you might be able to even buy BNB directly. And so what a lot of people do is they go to Binance US, and if they're American, obviously, they go here, and they buy BNB, and they'll send it some way to their Binance Smart Chain wallet, now, if you notice something real quick though, if I go here, I can't send it to Binance Smart Chain. I can only send it somewhere else. So there's multiple ways to do this. You can send this to Atomic Wallet, you can send it to um, different other wallets or exchanges that allow you to send to Binance Smart Chain. Now, what I do is I go to Binance.com using a VPN, because I'm currently like in the US, but I have a Binance.com account and I'm lucky because I also have citizenship um, in another country. Well, not citizenship, but I have a green card in Taiwan. So I got this Binance account way before they had KYC. I mean, I've been doing this a long time. And I have this um, account with my Taiwanese um, passport, not passport, green card. Um, and so that's that. But there are ways around it. I'm not going to go into that. But you can also use Binance.com if you use a VPN or you, you do other things. I mean, there's ways to do it. So we're just going to assume for now to make it really easy, you're using Binance.com or you're using another type of wallet, which allows you to send to BSC. And I'm going to show you why that's so important. Because if we look at here, there's only BEP2, which is BNB only. And it requires you to have a memo uh, when you, um, it's not actually optional. It requires you to have a memo when you withdraw. And if you open up your Binance uh, Smart Chain wallet or you open up MetaMask, for example, it's going to ask you not to have a, a, a memo and just have one number. And that's because it's a smart it's smart chain. It's not the regular Binance BNB uh, blockchain. So keep that in mind. So assuming, let's say you're on Binance.com, it would it's pretty simple. Um, you would transfer your money into uh, BNB, 
USD from your Binance US. And by the way, a lot of people can use Binance.com without being verified just as a wallet, just to transfer funds. Now trading, that does require some other verification, but just using the wallet portion, I believe is still open to almost everyone. And I could be wrong with that, but you can send it into your Binance Fiat wallet, uh, Fiat and Spot wallet. And then what people do here is they go to BNB, um, and then they're going to withdraw their BNB. So let's say I had BNB in here and um, I wanted to send it. So what I would do is I'd make sure I have Binance Smart Chain. Okay, make sure Binance Smart Chain, BSC, not regular Binance Chain is selected, which is going to be BEP20 BSC, not BEP2, which is kind of weird, but yeah, it's different. And so then you would copy your MetaMask address or your Binance Smart Chain wallet address here paste that right in this box, obviously press max or however much you want to send and submit it and then go through all the verifications. This is the same process for almost any other wallet. And I'm just, I'm just showing you with this way. Just make sure that if you're sending BNB from Binance US or you have an option to buy it on another exchange that you're able to withdraw it to the smart chain. That's the most important thing. Uh, do not do not send it as BNB or you have a good chance of your funds being completely lost. So I'm warning you now, make sure you have the option to send to BSC. Otherwise, you may be sitting there thinking my funds are gone. They're not in my wallet. I don't know what happened to them. And yeah, that would really suck. And I don't want that to happen to you. So let's just skip ahead and just assume that you have the money in your wallet now, right? So the wallet obviously is not going to show. But for example, I'm going to show you what I did to make over $1,000 a day, as promised, with this um, chain called Value Diva. It's not a chain, it's like it's an exchange, and it's a coin as well, just like Pancake has cake, ApeSwap has banana, and so on and so forth. So uh, Value DeFi has their VB swap coin which right now is an insane price, $10,799 per coin. Just yesterday when I started this, it was only $7,000 per coin. And earlier when BNB was extremely high, the value of this coin was almost $15,000. That's right, $15,000 per one whole coin. It's absolutely insane. And I don't really know why, but it's actually a very undervalued project. This project has been around for two years and it's been audited by multiple cybersecurity uh, firms, which is good. Now, a lot of things in DeFi, when you look at staking and, and all this stuff, are actually scams. And there's many rug pulls that happen. And a rug pull is when basically they keep your money in the exchange, you provide them the liquidity, and then that's it. They take it and run and you can't exchange anything. You can't take your money out. And I'm gonna go over what that actually means, staking and, and that, all that. And so how this works is think of this like a Binance or a Coinbase, except for instead of you putting fiat money directly in here or having to log in and have an account with it, you actually just connect your wallet. And so what you would do then is you would go up to the top right-hand corner of one of these exchanges, and they're usually in the top right-hand corner, and you would press connect. And uh, for example here, I don't really know how to log out. So just assume that it says connect at the top right hand corner and it will say connect and um, you will connect your wallet. You'll press the connect button at the top right hand corner and then you will unlock the wallet and then you'll be able to see your funds being able to interact. You'll see BNB or BUSD or something like that, um, depending on what you did. But we're assuming you did BNB and um, what we're going to do then is go to the farm, the V swap and the V farm. Okay. Yesterday when I started the APR was nuts. It was 50,000% APR 50,000. That's not a joke. This is real. Okay. It sounds like a scam, but trust me, this site is not a scam. And that's why I'm showing it to you. Um, at least it hasn't been in the past two years. And so, um, now the the APR is actually kind of low, and I know you're low. It's Freya. It's almost nine thousand percent. Yeah, but it was fifty thousand percent just twenty four hours ago. And so what happens here is that you're going to be providing liquidity to the exchange in the same way as think about it as being as an angel investor, right? You're providing your money. You're risking your money for this exchange to operate and to have a coin and to offer different financial services. 
the only way that they can do that is by you giving them liquidity. So this is their equivalent to raising money for an idea, except for this idea is already kind of fleshed out. As they develop more with the exchange, the APRs will go down. So the early adopters into the projects, the more riskier angel investors, if you will, are going to get the most insane APRs you've ever seen on the planet Earth. Um, and so that's basically what this says. Staking is kind of like angel investing. You're giving away money in exchange for an insane amount of return daily. And some staking is locked and some is unlockable or it doesn't require you to stake your money long term. In this case, Value DeFi doesn't require you to stake your money long term. At any given time, 24 hours a day, you can unstake your money. You can take your money out, pull it out, convert it to BNB or BUSD, and you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. It'll stay in your wallet and you can sell it off for fiat if you want. Okay. And so that's the cool thing with this. Some things like Ethereum staking and other staking, you do have to lock in your your money for like many months sometimes a year it just depends so in this case you don't so you're safe in terms of liquidity you do have liquidity and you do have it instantly and that's the appeal of using bsc the smart chain to make these transactions work because liquidity is instant it's within a minute or so and so what you're gonna do then is here's the real tutorial i know it's so long you're like get with it already but you have to understand all these parts first to understand what you're doing i would hate to just show you step by step and you're like but why am i doing this this is why you're doing it and so what you're gonna do first is you're gonna open your wallet and connect it like i said and i'm gonna assume that you have some money it should show you a balance and right now i have 1.7 bnb i actually have a lot more but just for this purpose i'm going to show you how to do it with uh 1.72 bnb for example let's say and so when you're looking at staking no matter what pool it is no matter what site pancake swap uni swap sushi swap any other random swap that you find they're always going to require you to do a 50 50 percent pair and a 50 50 percent pair means that you um, are going to go 50% one coin and 50% of their token. Remember, the value DeFi token, the banana banana from ApeSwap, the pancake cake, the cake is the token. Sushi Swap, sushi is the token. Um, and so you have to make a pair and it creates what's called an LP token. LP token stands for like liquidity something, I don't know. And it's the same wording across every DeFi exchange. So what you have to do first is you have to convert your BNB into the targeted farming pair. Let's repeat that. You have to go into the targeted farms pair, okay? And so what, is, what the hell does that mean? Well, what that means is, for example, the highest yielding farm right now for liquidity stakes is VB swap, which is their token, and BNB, which is BNB. And that provides 8,000%, as I said. And so in order to make this uh, thing work and to interact with it, we actually have to swap 50% of our BNB into VB swap and then combine them together and then make a token. So if you guys are gamers, you're probably familiar with this kind of concept. You got to take two different things, forge them together, and you make something else, okay? And so this is what you do. You go here, you find your BNB or your BUSD, and then you're going to select VB swap. If you're on pancake swap, you'll select cake. If you're on ape, you'll select banana, so on and so forth. And then what you got to do is you got to open up your calculator or just do fast math, quick math, and uh, get the exact half amount of the amount of BNB that you have. So for example, I have 1.7 and we're just going to call it 1.7 because I need the rest of that BNB for gas. And remember, do not max out. Do not spend all your BNB because if you spend it all and you swap exactly 50%, sometimes you, your gas fee, your, your exchange fee basically will go over the amount of BNB you have in your wallet and you will see an error that says error message undefined or not enough gas or not enough funds available. So do not ever do the exact, exact half. Do a little bit less, okay? And so I have 1.7. So if I divide that by half, and that's why I'm ignoring every number, I'm even ignoring the second zero um, after the seven. So I'm going to call this 0 0.085, okay? So what I have to do is go 0 0.085, okay? BNB. 
And I'm going to put that into this amount of VB swap, which is 0 0.01 uh, ratio. And VB swap is again around whatever, $10,000 per coin right now. So what I do is I press swap, okay? And then after that, we're going to confirm the swap. And then on the top right-hand corner, you're going to see um, it says... A, like a pop-up box you can't see it on my screen but it's going to pop up and you're going to scroll down you're going to hit confirm and it's going to confirm the transaction and then uh, you can close this window okay and uh, you might see like a spinny wheel at the top right hand corner with your wallet number in it and once that spinny wheel is done it's done uh, that transaction is done that took only took 30 seconds or something so cool so now i should have uh, a little bit of VB swap and half, a little bit less than half of my BNB available in my wallet. If you did it right, you would have half of the amount in BNB, okay? And then what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the farm that you want. And in this case, we're going to go VB swap farm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hit stake, but I can't because I have to add liquidity. You're going to agree on this risk disclaimer here and it's going to load and sometimes it takes a while sometimes the site's a little bit buggy they're they're overloaded with users and this will be the same on any exchange you're going to press max okay and it's going to give you a 50 percent almost 50 percent equivalent of each of these coins and you're going to hit the supply button you're going to press confirm supply okay and then your wallet's going to pop up again asking you to pay for the transaction and you're going to confirm You'll hit close. Once the spinning wheel is done, or once you get a confirmation on the screen, then you know you have LB tokens. So this should take probably a few more seconds. Let's see. Okay, so this one might be taking a little bit longer because for it to make this token, it takes a little bit of time. So now we've got it, and your balance should show pretty much almost zero, right, on, uh, on each number, okay? Um, and I think I might have spent too much BNB because uh, now I'm barely going to have enough for gas. So be careful. Make sure you don't go lower than at the current time, the, maybe the, the third decimal point in BNB. Um, and so then you're going to go to the farm. Okay. You can click on the farm. And then you're going to hit stake. Okay. Once you hit the stake button, you're going to hit maximum, right? And then you will press stake. Okay. And then, since I have a bunch of coins in my uh, in my uh, farm already, once I do this, it's probably going to harvest all my coins for me. That way, I can restake, and that's what you really want to do: is you want to restake your uh, your farmed coin and split them up again. So you would go back to the swap, and you would swap your VB swap token. Um, that you got and then you would just restake it and compound it that's if you want to compound and you can claim the re reward and see it claim my rewards for me so that way you can compound the money that you made if you want to take your profits and run fine you can just take it out and then you'll be okay so if you see now i have a one whole uh, LP token plus a few, a few others from what I had. So this is about, um, I think it's about $4,000 worth USD, $4,000 worth. Um, that's staking right now. And that's how I was able to make that money uh, in less than a day, not even a full day yet. And, and that's what you do. And so then what you're going to look at is you're going to see claim rewards and you're going to start seeing that number go up uh, over time. And the closer it gets to one for this coin, the more money you've got, right? And so um, that's pretty much it for staking. Now, you're probably wondering, well, then how do I get my money out? Well, that's a good question. You can either press claim rewards and you'll get VB swap. And then what will happen is if you open your wallet up, uh, like MetaMask or BSC, you may likely see the VB swap coin um, as a token and you'll see how much that you harvested i harvested 0 0.128 which is about uh 1500 1600 depending on what the price is per token so that's really good and so you can take that money and you can go back to the swap right and then it shall show you here i have i can just reverse this right i can uh take my uh I can press max and I can take this. I get a whopping 5.60 BNB 
Okay, that's nuts. Um, that's that's crazy. Five point six. So let's just go with five point six uh, BNB to USD. Let's just see what that is real quick. Okay. All right. So the price right now is. I don't know why this this one is always weird. I don't like this site. Um. Okay. Five point six. This one's good. Let's just go with actually the the actual amounts. We have five point six zero two three. Not that that's not going to matter too much, but there we go. So we'll press convert, and that is equal to a whopping thirteen hundred eighty five dollars. So not bad. And of course, this price will be more as the price of the coin goes up. So we got thirteen point five one thousand three hundred dollars at the current time with less than twenty four hours. That's really insane, guys. So yeah, that's uh, that's nuts. <laughs> I can't believe that. And so that's kind of what you'll do is you'll take out your earned rewards, or if you're really, really unsure and you don't want to do this every day, or even you only want to do it one day, you can actually unstake. And this is the same in any swap, any kind of staking. You can press maximum, and you can unstake your coins, and then you or your LP tokens, and then you would um, go back to the liquidity thing and then it'll show you uh an unstake button and then you'll just do the reverse you will unstake your uh your lp tokens and it'll split it up into two different tokens it'll split it up into bnb and into vb swap and you may get more of one than the other because of something called impermanent loss and i don't have time to go into that this video is already way too long but you will see a little bit less of the BNB or a little bit less of the VB swap than you were expecting. Do not panic. One of them will be greater and you still will come out on top assuming the price of the coin is greater than when you put it in or you've just earned so much from staking that it doesn't matter. So you, it'll split into two different coins, okay? It'll split into a BNB and it'll split into a VB swap or a BNB and a pancake like this one. And then you just swap the token into BNB and then you'll just have a ton of BNB, or you can swap it into BUSD and you'll just have a ton of BUSD, and that's how you cash out. So hopefully this was helpful, guys. I know this is like a 30-minute video, and if you got to the end right now, then you're a champion and you're serious about DeFi and making a lot of money every single day. Now, remember, this is extremely, extremely risky. Do not, do not put in a ton of money out front because you may lose it all, and there's a good possibility of that. But as long as you trust the project and you read their Twitter, you read their Telegram, and you realize that they're actually doing work and there's actually people investing in this thing, then you will be okay, kind of. I don't want to say you will be perfect, but if you look at the homepage of their exchange, you'll see what's called the TVL or the value locked. As long as that number is high and it keeps going up every day and it doesn't drop too much, People are not exiting the pool. They're not exiting the exchange. And so you can be kind of safe. But again, do your research. Talk to the developers on Telegram. Talk to them on Twitter. See what they're doing and make sure that your money is going to be safe. This is a great way for you to make passive income every single day without doing anything but risking a little bit of your cash or a lot of it up front in exchange for some interest because you put equity or liquidity into an exchange. So that's it, guys. I know this video is crazy long. I'm going to stop talking now. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for supporting me. If you guys have any questions on this, please join the Discord in the description below or just go to freyafox.gg slash Discord and you'll be able to be invited. You'll have to verify yourself first. But after that, you can come into the chat and you can ask any one of our experienced um, community members who've done staking for a long time and they can help walk you through this or I'm also available for private consults if you guys just want to ask me directly and just have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, time to ask me anything about crypto and I'll tell you not financial advice but just general stuff and guide you through some tutorials if you need like step-by-step -step hand holding also available for those so hopefully you guys like it hit that like button destroy the like button hit subscribe turn on the bell notification all that good stuff I'll see you guys in the next video.